Hello, this is Keegan, first grandchild, and I always appreciate about Papa all the time he spent with us, grandkids, all of us, including me, going outside, rambling around their place, uh, and teaching me, saying, having weird quips, teaching me uh, songs like Greasy Grammy Gopher Guts, and yeah, we'll miss him. My <clears throat> favorite memory of Papa has to be from when I was little. Um, I couldn't have been more than like eight or nine maybe. And uh, Papa had picked me up and a few classmates up from school out at Sundell. And he was taking us to CCD at St. Al's. And I think he had just gotten his truck, his new truck. Um, Henry's truck now and <clears throat> we were all sitting in the back and he was up in the front and you know we were little so he was just huge right and um, he convinced us that since it was a new truck he could change the radio stations telepathically and we were all just so like oh it was it was hilarious and really all he was doing was changing the radio on the steering wheel with those controls but I mean he was just he had us going for like all of prosperity from Sundale to St. Al's and was just changing it from this to that and like volume and station FM AM and <laughs> Those are some of the things that I remember about Papa and some of the greatest memories that I have of him just playing those, not little tricks, but just those little moments where he could get away with saying stuff like that. We were so gullible and telepathic changing stations, you know, he would put his hand in between his head and the ceiling and it wouldn't work. So it had to be, you know, he couldn't wear his hat while he, he was driving if he wanted to use the telepath and telepathy and those are some of the things that I'll miss the most. Uh, I'm Garen, I'm the third oldest grandchild um, and what I, always, what I always appreciated about Papa was his sense of humor like how uh, he would come up with games that we couldn't win if we he wanted us to do something that we didn't want to do like flip a coin, heads I win, tails you lose, things like that, and then we would always end up having to do whatever he said. Or another example of that, of him messing with me, was uh, he was driving me to, to swim practice in Tulare, and uh, right as we were stopped at a red light, uh, when it turned green, he started going, and then he just said, all right, Garen, clutches in, shift. I said, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, so I, I just really appreciated his sense of humor. Um, I miss him all the time. One of my favorite memories of Papa that I feel really exemplifies the type of person Papa was for not only his grandkids, but his kids, his wife, his friends, is the time that Grandma, Papa, Grace, and I went to visit different mission locations in California. I think that it was for Grace's fourth grade mission project. And I tagged along and I was in fifth grade at the time. And our last destination, I believe, was about four hours from Tulare, and we had stayed in a hotel, and I had left my backpack with very vital fifth grade homework in it at that hotel. And I did not realize that I left my backpack at that hotel, of course, until we got back to Tulare. And uh, I remember Papa, he seemed happy to do it at the time. I don't think he was probably actually happy to do it, but he didn't make me feel bad about it. He just got in the car without hesitation and drove back to get my my backpack. And I feel like, thanks to him, I passed the fifth grade. So I feel like that story just really shows how selfless Papa was. And he, I mean... That's just one of many memories that I'm so thankful to have of Papa uh, caring for us grandkids. He was really good at that. 
and I know we're all gonna miss him a lot. Uh, yeah, that's just one of my very many memories of Papa that I love. Hello everyone, my name is Wyatt. I believe I'm the fifth grandchild of Papa Gary's. And my favorite memory of him was just whenever he was in the backyard with his grandkids. Whether that was at Oakmore or at Delago. Oakmore, me and the older crowd would be swimming in the pool that he built back there. Just a little pop-up one, whatever that one's called. And we'd just be having fun. And you could just look over and it'd be, be on, he'd be on the back porch. Maybe with the kids or like the baby swing for the younger generations. If it wasn't that, then at the Delago house, just him back there watching whoever was in the pool and just knowing he was there always brought me comfort just walking by him or knowing he was there so that's my favorite my favorite um memory of papa gary hi i am the seventh grandkid and i have a few things i want to mention when it comes to papa first thing i want to mention is that he always showed us that he loves spending time with us whether it was pushing his grandkids on the swing on the back porch watching us drive around the gator and the little jeep in the front porch, teaching us how to drive on his um, little green lawnmower. There's so many other ways that he showed that he loved us and that he loved to spend time with us. There was never a time I don't think I can speak of and probably any of my cousins can speak of where he did not make us feel like like the best people in the world. <laughs> he just loved spending time with us. He was amazing. The other thing I want to mention about Papa is, to a lot of people, I am Grace, which is cool. I'm Grace. But to him, I was always Gracie. Always Gracie. And it warms my heart to know that, that, that to him, I'm Gracie. And yeah, gonna love and miss him lots. So, bye. Um, I'm Henry. I'm the seventh grandchild. And I think I just really loved and appreciated how patient Papa always was when it came to all the grandkids and all of their problems that they brought with them. Because really, no matter what it was, he would always help us. He was always willing to go somewhere if we needed something. He was always willing to bring us donuts or take us somewhere fun or just sit outside with us when we wanted to play. And I think that that was one of his best things was he always had time and was patient with the grandkids. And I really love that about him. Hey. We just set up camp here in Naked Falls, Washington. Um, and this is my video about my favorite memory of Papa. I would say my favorite memory, because I've got tons of them with Papa. My favorite memory has got to be about 2020, I think is when it was. We went and we took a cousin's trip up to Idaho. And at one point, Wyatt, Henry, and I took Papa to Wingstop in Papa's old truck. And as we're pulling into the parking lot, Henry ended up curbing it and just going straight over like a big curb and Pop was in the passenger seat and I just rem remember him saying, well shit Henry, I'm blind and even I could see that. <laughs> and I don't know, it's one of the funny, f funny memories I remember of Papa. Um, yeah, and I miss him. I've got plenty of them like him at the Oakmore house or at the Delago house or anything like that. And yeah. Um, I miss you, Papa. I love you, and I, I know that I'll see you again one day. Um, yeah, stay safe. Love you guys. Hi, I'm Adriana. I'm the ninth grandchild of Grandma and Papa. And one of my favorite memories that I had with Papa would be the mornings in the summer when all of his grandkids would be at Grandma and Papa's house, and he would bring home donuts every now and then in the morning. So it was a big deal for us, okay? Big deal. And I would always sleep in late, so I kind of missed this, but I would always wake up every morning and I would go downstairs and I would be like, I hope there's a donut for me or I hope there's a chocolate one because I love chocolate. And every, that, every time, Papa would be like, go check the box. So I'd check the box and there'd be a chocolate one. And it just made me feel so special and like loved by him because he had all these people to worry about, all these grandkids and like a bunch of work he'd do. And just that little moment, he just was like, donut for Audrey and that made me feel so special because it made me feel like he loved me and he recognized me and it also just shows how much he loves his grandkids because 
that's a lot of donuts to buy for a lot of grandkids. But it just shows in my eyes how much he loved us and how much he loved me. And I'm gonna miss you a lot, Papa. And I hope you're doing okay. Hi everyone, my name's Madison. I'm the 10th grandchild out of 16. My favorite memory with Papa is when after the morning sharks practice, uh, we'd go back to grandma's house half the time. And normally uh, we'd ask grandma if we can go out and swim the pool because we were just that crazy. And after, you know, a morning practice, we just were instantly right back in the water. So on the days when grandma wasn't there and she had to go run errands, we'd go and we'd ask Papa if he could go out and watch us. And when we'd go and, we at, and we'd ask him this, uh, he'd look at us and he'd say, uh, yeah, you can go swimming, but just know I'm not a lifeguard, so you, you can't drown. <laughs> and normally after that, you know, he'd come out and he'd watch us, make sure none of us killed ourselves as we did that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my favorite memory. Um, I love him, I miss him very much, and I hope he's happy in heaven. I'm Bella, and I'm the 11th grandchild to Grandma and Papa. And this is the hat I got to keep from Papa. It says Avalo Beach, California. And I chose this hat specifically because it reminds me of all the summers that we got to spend on the beaches in California as a whole family. And actually one of my favorite memories I have with Papa is when we were at Pismo Beach for the 4th of July. And I was really little, so I hated the sound of the fireworks and I was making a huge fuss about it. And so Papa willingly took me back to the beach house and sat there on the couch with me until I fell asleep. And I feel like this just shows and proves the man that Papa was because he was always making sure everyone was happy and he was so comforting to everyone and he made it really hard not to feel loved. So, yeah. Hi, I'm John Soler and I am the 12th grandchild to Grandma and Papa. One of my favorite memories about Papa was when he sold me to the gypsies. I was little at the time and we were going through a car wash down in Tulare. And I can remember I was being obnoxious at the time and grandma, papa, and my mom were in the car. And at some point during the car wash, he turns around and goes, John, if you don't stop, I'm going to take you over to the gypsies and I'm going to leave you there. Now, papa has threatened me with the gypsies many times throughout my childhood and now I'm scarred. <laughs> And so I remember I put my blanket over my head. I sat back and I was as quiet as possible through the car ride and car wash. That was my favorite memory from Papa. I love him and I miss him a lot. Hi, I'm Evan Gary Dito. I'm the 13th grandchild. And my favorite memory of Papa was whenever he taught me how to use a hammer for the first time. We made these little box stools that he said that he used to help cut down the palms on his palm trees and I'm really going to miss him. I'm Simon, and I'm uh, the 14th grandchild to Grandma and Papa. And my favorite memories with Papa were well, when he used to take us to get donuts after swim practice at Sharks. It was always really nice. I mean, get a dozen, dozen and eat them like it was nobody's business. Papa's always made sure that we were the happiest grandkids on Earth. He, he was the best. Hi, my name is Amelia Dudo. I'm the 15th grandchild. And my favorite memory with Papa is when he called, when he gave me the nickname Milford. And anytime I would go visit him or he would visit me, he would call me Milford. And when he called me Milford, it, I felt like I was special to him. And that I really miss him and that I really love him. Hi, my name is James. I'm the 16th grandchild. I love my papas very much.